Tom Parfit was the only person in the room when a woman fell out of the window. Tom had a wife? Dorothea. But what happened to her? She died a long time ago. He hadn't changed a bit, you know. Who hasn't? Look for him in Scarborough. He's got hundreds of songs about Scarborough. I told her, don't go looking for that old man. And you, don't let her out of your sight. Do you believe in ghosts? Water that shouldn't be there. Alice had water on her lungs. Shirley's flat, flooded out. So how do you account for the pathologist reporting nothing unusual then? The Asian woman Shirley thought she saw in the window. Well, last I heard, she imagined it. I don't think so. First off, he tells everyone he's 80-odd, but there's three birthday cards that says he's a liar. He's 110 years old. There's loads of old photos and stuff from India in his house. Now, English families during the Raj, they all employed a local woman to look after their children. Then, sailing back here from India, when they docked, the nannies were all laid off, left in London to wait for another job to take them home. Now, look, look, there she is. Look, it's the same woman, yeah? It's his I am, his nanny from when he was a kid in India. That's 1914. She's, she's long dead now, obviously. Yeah, well, we're police officers, aren't we, Rob? So, what do we think? Right, well, we think that if that was taken in 1914, then there's no way that this child can be Tom Parfit. But the birthday cards... Yeah. Well, we think it's a mistake, don't we? Eh? Or a joke? Or first thing Monday morning, why don't we call Buckingham Palace and ask the bloody Queen, eh? Rob, listen. Why don't you go and do a bit of fishing out or paint the house? Come back when you're feeling better, son. Like you did before. To hear your voice. It's the middle of the bloody night. He's teething. I've only just got him down. Sorry, love, I didn't think. Sorry. I'll call you later. I 
told you he'd be here. I thought I'd come looking for him. I thought I could do it on my own, Rob. Come home now, love. I can't. We're in trouble. Remember me to I don't understand. Sean! Sean! Rob, I don't know what to do. Find somewhere safe. Safe and warm. A cafe on the seafront. I'll find you. This must be to hear. I should have listened to her. If there were bottles of pills, yes. Bottles of drink, so... Yes, it looks like an overdose, but... But there's no way to be certain of anything at this stage, except it wasn't your fault. Shirley didn't want me to go looking for Tom. No, she didn't. I didn't want to. Not really. Even this morning when I, I set off, I didn't I didn't really know why. Hannah. I have these awful dreams. There's a lake and and sometimes Tom's there and I'm, and I'm drowning. Say you're right. Say there is a ghost. You've done exactly what she wanted. She's got Tom. We can go home. End of. End of nothing! She killed Alison. She killed Shirley. Who's next? Do you know I called you? Because I thought you'd understand. Anna, there will be a rational explanation. <sighs> well, explain that. Isha was Tom's ayah, his nanny. And his family lived in India a long time ago, before the war, before both wars. Tom's a lot older than he looks. He's a lot older than, than is even possible. I want to stop her, Rob. I'll spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. Hello? Where is that? Can you text me a postcode? Thanks. Someone's called in a sighting of Tom Parfit. What now? Now we go and find him. Oh, 
play, as long as you keep in sight. Tom? Tom? Tom, are you in there? Don't worry, I'll find him. I couldn't take anything with me from the house. I realised that. That's why my suitcase was empty. Because that's how she travels. And things from the house. Well, the patient in the next bed wasn't too pleased with you. <laughs> I was doing him a favour. <laughs> Bloody horrible thing, that yellow cardigan. <laughs> I thought it'll be all right if I can make it look like it's not my choice to leave home. And I didn't mean social worker to take the blame. I'm sorry. Always been together. Me and her. Always. I cried that much at the thought of losing her. My parents had to bring her back on the boat with us from India. I'll always look after you, she said to me. Always. Think of that. <laughs> Think of what that really means. Please, Tom. I don't need to know if she'll hurt my brother. She'd never hurt a, a child. 
Oh, no, 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 not in here. Why not? Well, there might be evidence in here. You might mess it up. Mess up yourself, big feet. Hey, you can't be a policeman unless you've got big feet. My dad were a policeman. I'd keep it quiet. What did he do, your dad? I argued with my mum, mostly. Have you got kids? Yeah, I did have, yeah. But they did? No, oh, they're in Australia. Cool. I'm going to go play on the swings again. Don't know what you're on about. The song on your piano. It's sung by a Mr. Hutton from Gothland. My wife's grandfather. After all the impossible tasks, does it have a happy ending? It's not a love song. It's just a stupid old story. in my dreams it never gets to the end there's something really strange there's something about that song some old story from his wife's family his wife who fell down the stairs his wife who's dead yeah like Alison and Shirley his wife who's a Hutton from Gosling like the singer of the song Rob if, if anything happens to him I'm so far out of my comfort zone I'm gonna meet myself coming back do you know, it's fine, forget it. I'll go to Scarborough, I'll pick up my mum's car, and I'll go to Gothland on my own. You're going nowhere on your own. I'll go fine, it's what I do. Not now I'm here. Hey, you all right? Seven bells out of you, didn't you? Didn't like you leaving home, was that it? What you brought me here for? Family history. Well, you're wasting your time. Them Hutton's all long dead. And if they're not, well. They never approved of me. It's up there.
sage is for strength, rosemary for faithfulness, and thyme is for courage. Well, what about parsley? Parsley? Good for the digestion. <laughs> Not very romantic, is it? As I imagine, that was my grandfather for you. Mr. Richard Hutton. Tell me, Detective Constable, how exactly is this a police matter? I'm told there's a family story about the version of Scarborough Fair your grandfather used to sing. I am aware that's not a straight answer to your question. But to sew a shirt without needlework, it's an impossible task. Well, the tasks are just a list. You take your pick. It was the ending that mattered, according to my sister. That ending had the power to lay a ghost to rest. Dorothea loved all those old st stories. I'm so sorry. The last time that anyone knocked on that door asking about Scarborough Fair was 60 years ago. I couldn't help him, and I can't help you either. Miss Houghton, did you ever hear your grandfather sing? No, no, he, he died before I was born. Dorothea. My sister is dead. Nothing will bring her back. If there was an ending, it died with her. Let it happen. It was his fault. You think he doesn't know that? Why did you come here? Because people have died and I want it to stop. People you love? No. Not yet. It's all right. We're all going home. to Gothland, and me Morris Minor, like it were the other end of the world. I had so many tunes, so many verses, but Richard Hutton's version were different, because he only sang three verses. I were that mad in those days. I thought, what's he hiding? Has he got a last verse and's not letting on? So I banged on the door. And she opened it. Dorothea. I came looking for one thing. 
and I found another. What really happened to her, Tom? All those years, stuck in the house. Stuck in the shadows. I thought she'd understand. But Isha wasn't ready to let me go. Tom, what happened at the lake? What lake? She dreams about a lake. Fish is there and you and me. I was never a lake. Only the sea. No arguments. Get him into bed, then get yourself to bed. Get some sleep and leave the worrying to me. I don't need a new dad, Rob. OK. Not as much as he does, anyway. morning where have you been seaside keep him safe I've got to go back out back out I've been worried sick oh please We could go to the pub. Or to a nightclub. Now then, pull a couple of mucky women. You and I have got nothing in common. Both of us on our own. Neither of us getting any younger. Eighty odd. Nobody gets a birthday card from the Queen for being eighty odd. Oh yeah, I've got some questions. so tired and I, I can't even remember her name. I never stopped loving you. The one thing your dad and I ever agreed about, we loved our baby girl. Right. This is it at the top of the stairs. Night after night and think, how can I make them be nice to each other? didn't mean anything, the fighting. How can I think of the right things to say? It's just how it was, how love was for me and your dad. That was some magic spell that would make it all better. But the night he died... Oh, don't do this. I thought, do you know what? I can't, I can't be bothered. If they want to kill each other, then that's that's fine by me. I know. 
I went to bed. When I heard my dad slam the door. And I heard his car. And I knew then that he was driving too fast. It wasn't your fault. I don't mind the boyfriend's mum. I just wish they made you happy. So what about you, my beautiful baby? When's your life going to start? I'm too busy looking after my brother. My birthday again. And postman knocked on the door with a card from the Queen. Again. And I thought, I thought there's got to be a way out of this. 110 years. Long enough. You're not under arrest. You're free to go at any time. Let's start at the beginning. That is slogan. Remember Scarborough. After the bombardment. December 1914. The German bombardment that killed my parents. It was headline news, even in London. Their names in the paper. And mine. Poor little orphan boy. And Isha were in London by then. Waiting for passage home to India. She bribed her way onto a cargo ship called the Gem. Struck a mine, three and a half miles southeast by east of Scarborough. Christmas Day, 1914. Ten crew lost. and one passenger. Whose name were never listed. Was it you who put that back together? Was it you who tore it in half? Or was it Dorothea? When I first met Dorothea, she was 18 years old. Were love at first sight. I never told her my real age to start with. I didn't want to put her off, but when I did, and I told her everything. Everything. I loved her that much. She wanted to help. She said, let's sing my grandfather's ending. See if it can really lay a ghost. We'd no idea if it would work, but she were made up with it. No sooner home than she's skipping up the stairs and starting to sing. 
and I have a bad feeling and I'm pleading with her, please, don't, don't sing. <laughs> don't sing to the end. <laughs> then Isha were there. The top of the stairs. And Dorothea fell. <laughs> I saw my lovely girl fall. Why did she do that, Tom? Isha. Isha pushed her. Oh, God. Interview terminated at 6.24 a.m. Your boss will have a laugh when he listens to those tapes. I can put those tapes in a cupboard where they'll stay for seven years, after which time they'll go in the bin. We're going to sort this one out by ourselves. Just me and you. Why don't you take her home, Tom? Take Isha home. Keep her happy. Just the two of you safe and sound. Nobody else involved. Just like it always used to be. Just Tom and Isha, and leave those children out of it. It's too late for that. I can't stop her now. Christ! <laughs> for your time. Nancy, do you remember when we were here before? On that day when it all went wrong, when, when Tom came. You recognised him. You knew him. I, I thought it, it, it looked like my grandma's neighbour. And then I thought, no, they'll all be dead by now. Do you remember the day Tom brought his new wife home? And they drove up. In a taxi. Imagine. And, and he threw open the door and carried her over the threshold. Oh, it were romantic. And she started singing. Remember me to a bonny lass there. She didn't get to the end, did she? Come on, Tom, she goes. Join in with me. 
She wanted him to sing with her. Sing the ending, she says. Come on. He says, I don't want to. I don't want to no more. And she, she, she carried on singing just for a bit. Till... Until what? <gasps> Till he pushed her downstairs to shut her up. Sees me looking. Don't you ever tell, says he. Can you hear them? The children playing on the lake. going you killed your wife I loved her I loved them both you knew the ending you could have sung it but you chose Isha she came back from the dead for me how could I send her back there No, there's no time for waiting. There's no time for thinking. There's just doing it. You can't fight her. Then you have to come with me. Tom, please. From here, are we close enough? Looks that way. Where are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Don't help me. Sing it with me. Tell her to 
who make me cambric shirt parsley sage <sighs> I'm sorry, love, but that's the last thing I want to do. Oh, my God, Sean, no! His name's Sean. He likes chips and... Computer games and rock pools. He's ten years old. I've been ten years old all my life. Then be a man now. Sing the ending. I can't. I won't. She doesn't really want him. All she wants is you, Tom. She loves you. <laughs> She has done and finished her work. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Oh, tell her to come and bring me that shirt. I'll be again a true lover of mine.
both gone. For God's sake. Hannah! I'm sorry. No, he was he blew away. He burned it. Where are they, Rob? I don't give them monkeys, as long as they don't come back. There's no talking to you. I've always liked the idea that you never really die, as long as somebody remembers you. Great escape can't come quick enough for you, can it? I'm only going to uni if you make sure he gets to school.